Why do so many people play gacha games? There have been multiple sources that have tried to explain why gacha is so addictive. In 2019, Doken Battle received about a hundred plus million dollars. You know how much money it is? It's only in North America, by the way. It doesn't even include Japan, all of Asia, and the rest of the world. So you're probably still wondering, why the fuck would people want to play this pay to win shit? I mean, the answer is pretty simple, really. Or you can like guys too. I ain't trying to judge, man. It's 2020. Let me give you a very simple answer, all right? You can play on a motherfucking phone. And being able to play on the phone, you can access it anywhere or anytime you want. And another thing, gacha caters to the casuals. Most people out here are not trying to be the next ninja or the next faker, okay? They're not trying to go drinking G Fuel every day, killing themselves. This reason is also very obvious, but people like to gacha. Like, people like to gamble. Gacha is literally gambling. People like the element of having luck and then them winning. It's exciting that way. It's just how it is. Normal Normal people like to gamble and there's literally nothing wrong with that if you gamble responsibly there's nothing wrong with that so you're wondering how do these gacha games make so much money it's the feeling of getting left out and most of us really felt that before let, let me give you an example okay because i play epic 7 a lot there's a new character it's called seaside euphine or ss whatever you want to call her right she's the new character right people hype for her they even made a trailer for her Everyone's talking about it on the Reddit. Everyone's talking about it in the Discord, right? And if you're a free-to-play player, the chance of you getting her are very low because you just don't have the bookmarks for it or the stones or whatever, right? And when you don't get that character, you're gonna get frustrated. And guess what you do next? You go in the shop and you buy the packs. And this doesn't include the new character, by the way. It could be a very old character, but it could be the best character in the game. It will just one-shot everything. It could clear out all the content for you. And, and some gacha game actually have the PvP mode in real time so if you don't have that character you can't really compete with the other players that are in the higher rank like i say again you're gonna feel frustrated and you're gonna spend your money in order to compete with the top players shut up and take my money and these gacha games are very easy to get addicted to because the gameplay is very easy to understand it's very simple there's not much skill based in a gacha game it mainly comes down to luck pretty much all it is and i would be lying to you if i said that i never spent money on a gacha game or want to spend money before or sometimes i want the character so badly but i don't, I don't want to spend money on it i sit in my classroom and i just sit on my phone all day trying to grind for that one character and missing out like in like 90 percent of the lectures and my ap bio class and getting a c on it <laughs> I feel as though this is the most important reason. These games are free. If you pay for a $60 game, you're not, that's it. You're not going to pay anymore, right? Unless it's like a DLC or something. If you play a free-to-play game, all that skins, all that cool character, all that microtransaction shit, you're going to end up buying pretty much all of them and spending at least like $300 or some shit, right? The free-to-play game that you're addicted to. And these developers are very smart. And these developer will most likely just going to buff the character. I mean, look at Fate Grand Order, okay? 90% of their patch notes are releasing new characters buffing the characters rarely nerfing them even when they nerf them it's not that bad of a nerf releasing new festival and skins and shit right wonder why because whenever they buff the character that character gets more hype and people are gonna pay more money to get that character in the end can you really blame these developer and company of trying to make money i mean you really can't blame them they're making so much money the people you should blame is the players the players are the one that is donating all this money into these developers i mean look at activision blizzard from loot box like loot crates and call of duty shit like that right you can't blame them for doing this stuff because people are buying it it's, it's not their fault like if they don't do this they're probably just gonna run out of business or something like that but yeah that's about it if you're gonna play a gacha game be responsible of how much money you spend and if you enjoyed this video leave a like sub all that stuff and you know as always have a good day holy fuck guys i just realized when i was editing this video it turned out to be like this this is a clusterfuck of shit